Hi guys, welcome to today's video. It's that time of the year where I get to share what I got my toddler for Christmas. This is the third year that I'm creating a video like this and I am so thrilled because this is such a fun one for me to create. My daughter is three years old now, so most of these presents are going to be targeted for her age group. I'm sure if your little one is a little bit younger or a little bit older, it should still be okay, but I did keep her age in mind when purchasing all these gifts. I will make sure to link the previous years of what I got my toddler for Christmas somewhere here in this video, so that way you guys can check that out. When I was purchasing my daughter's presents for last year, I sat down and I thought about every single gift before I purchased it. I wanted to be very intentional with everything that I purchased. I know that the year before that, and probably her first Christmas as well, we were just so excited to have a child and we bought a whole bunch of things, which she did still get use out of, but I just wanted to be a lot more minimal and I wanted to gift her a few sets of gifts and I really wanted to be intentional, as I said, with everything that I did pick up for her. Last year, every single gift that she received, she still plays with till this day. So that was very rewarding to see how much she appreciated all of the gifts that we picked up for her since they were all very thought out. I wanted to do the same thing this year. And like last year, she's going to be receiving a total of eight presents Four of them is going to be from mom and dad and the other four is going to be from Santa Claus. And just a heads up, the same thing as last year, five out of eight of her presents are going to be from the Heart and Hand with Magnolia collection from Target. I raved about them many times before, especially on last year's video and um, same thing goes for this year. Without making this intro any longer than it has to be, without further ado, if you're interested on seeing what I picked up for my toddler this year, just keep on watching. I'm not gonna be showing the actual gifts in the video. I'm going to be inserting photos just like I did the previous year. It's just going to be a lot more easier that way. As I mentioned, we picked up a total of eight presents and first four that I will be sharing is going to be the ones from mom and dad. I'm going to start off with sharing my daughter's big present. I do enjoy getting a big present for her and having that big present displayed. Last year, the big present that we gifted her was her play kitchen and we built it the night before and we had it all displayed with a big old bow waiting for her when she woke up Christmas morning. This year, we picked up a dollhouse for her. I feel like a dollhouse is somewhat of a dream toy for any little girl and I myself always wanted one when I was a little girl. It was such a cool toy. I had seen this dollhouse, I want to say 2019, so the Christmas before I even got pregnant with my daughter and I remember looking at it at Target and thought if only I had a daughter today, this thing would have come home with me. So for this Christmas, I felt like it was going to be the perfect present for her. We picked it up from Target. It is the Heart and Hand collection with Magnolia. I am going to try my hardest not to constantly repeat that phrase, but I just feel like my daughter is at an appropriate age to be receiving a dollhouse. She is really into playing pretend. She likes to play with Barbie. She likes to play with little dolls and she is just constantly interacting with them and just, you know, playing pretend. It's super sweet. So having a little house for these dolls, I think is going to be so perfect. As you saw, the dollhouse has green doors and I'm not too fond of the green. And I hope this works out. I am planning on painting the doors a peachy pink color. If I have it ready by the time this video goes up, I will try to take a photo and insert it so that way you guys can see what I'm talking about. But I did pick up paint from Target and I hope that it will last. I'm just worried about the paint chipping along the line. So to go alongside with the dollhouse, you guys are going to see that a lot of the toys this year that we are gifting her is going to be paired perfectly with her dollhouse. So we picked up from the same brand, a furniture set. They had a couple of different furniture sets to choose from. I went with the one that included the most furniture. The accessory that it included was a vanity, a couch, a side table, coffee table, um, lamps, a bathtub, and I'm not sure if I'm forgetting anything else. I know I jotted some stuff down here. I wanted to pick up at least one set of furniture for her. I feel like 
this is the best set to introduce into the dollhouse and then in the future like for valentine's day or easter we can include more furniture in her little baskets and whatnot the next toy we got also to accompany the dollhouse it's more gonna be for the side of the dollhouse but we picked up this chicken coop from the same brand it's like an eight piece set it comes with chicken a rooster it comes with the whole little coop and it's just so freaking cute i knew that i had to order this for her because i think she's gonna have so much fun with it if she doesn't i know i will and lastly i really wanted to pick up little people to include in her dollhouse i had my eye set on the wooden people from the heart and hand collection but they were sold out when i was going to make a purchase so i ended up ordering this little family set from the calico critters it's a bunny family and i thought that they were just so darn cute i know that if these guys were available or maybe they were but anyways if they were available when i was a kid i know me and my sister would have gone crazy for these guys but i thought they were so sweet and that is a little family that we picked up to move into my daughter's dollhouse now for the gifts that santa is going to be gifting my daughter i'm just going to continue sharing all of the items that are to be paired with the dollhouse so first up is the wooden people figures like i said it was sold out but then i went to my local target and they had it in stock so i picked it up even though we picked up the calico critter bunny family i thought that these guys would still look really cute to go with the dollhouse my daughter received the toy truck from the same collection and she also has a train so these guys can fit really well with all of the heart and hand collection toys and at one point i was even thinking of including it in her stocking but i'm just gonna have it wrapped up and gifted to her from santa claus alongside with these farm animals uh, she has another set i believe they are woodland creatures and she really likes playing with them and putting them in the train and like just having them all drive around so these guys are going to be paired very perfectly with all of her heart and hand collection toys next up is a toy that is going to go with my daughter's kitchen she has been really into baking lately and i thought that purchasing her a wooden cupcake toy set was going to be so perfect for her birthday we gifted her a wooden cake and she was obsessed with it she was playing with it every single day and whenever we had a guest come over she was always grabbing her cake and serving them cake it was the sweetest thing ever so i think she's going to be super into this cupcake set every time she wants to bake she's always asking me if we can make cookies or cupcakes she loves doing the mix 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 so she already has a cookie set that she got for christmas last year and i figured she needs to get cupcakes so this is what she will be getting from santa the last gift coming from santa is going to be a gift that i've been wanting to give her or get her for a while now i've been talking to my husband about getting my daughter a tony's box if you haven't heard of a tony's box it's just this box that you can buy little character figures to um, it connects magnetically to the top of it and it plays you the story and it also plays music so my daughter is really obsessed with playing the, with the phone and the ipad i feel like most children are and i really want to try to shift her focus elsewhere and i'm hoping that with her getting this tony's box she's going to be really interested in using it and not be so focused on the ipad or iphone um, we picked up the set that came with peppa pig and i'm going to share a little bit more about the other figures that we did pick up for her because we did pick up three more and we're going to include it in her stocking the box that we did pick up is the pink one and it comes with peppa pig i think the boxes usually come with one free figure i was going to get her the blue one that came with elsa but it was sold out when i was going to place the order so since she's really into peppa i felt like this one was going to be perfect for her i'm not gonna lie i'm also really excited for this too and i had so much fun picking up the ones that we included in her stocking now for the items that we picked up for my daughter's stocking the first thing i'm going to share is this cute little gingerbread baby from cuddle and kind this year cuddle and kind released uh, two different gingerbreads and a sweet little fawn i think with a pink nose and i just knew i had to pick this one up i love gingerbreads i think they are just so freaking sweet and 
not that she needs any more cuddle and kind stuffies but the gingerbread just stole my heart and i got the one with the pink buttons i just think this little guy is so darn sweet I really hope she enjoys it <laughs> this is going to go in her stocking i think i've mentioned this before i think it's really cute to include a little stuffed animal in a child's stocking for christmas um i know that means that their collection of stuffed animals are just going to be ridiculously huge but i can't help it especially since this was a christmas themed stuffy i had to get it now i'm going to share the three figures that i picked up for the Tony's box. I wanted to make sure I got a Christmassy themed one, so of course I had to pick up the Grinch. We love the Grinch in this house, so this one was going to be a must. I have had it on a wish list on Amazon since last year, since I, as I said, I knew that a Tony's box was something that I really wanted to get my daughter eventually. The next one is, um, I got Elsa, so this one is for Frozen 2. And the last one is Miguel from Coco. My daughter loves the movie, hasn't watched it in a while, but every time we're out and about and we're passing the yogurt section and they have the Danimals Pixar yogurts and she always wants to stop to see Coco because Miguel is on the top of the box. It's actually pretty sweet. So I had to get her Coco. The next few items are just going to be candies. Uh, she just needs to get spoiled with candies. I mean, what kid would not want to receive a whole bunch of candy in their stocking? But even then, I try to be very minimal with everything because she has the biggest sweet tooth, probably bigger than mine, and I have to control that. The first thing I picked up is this little Grinch kiss. Um, I think this was going in her stocking. I have this box full of stocking stuffers that I got for myself, my husband, and my daughter. So I think this was going in hers. If not, this was for my husband. So whoops. This one is definitely for hers. Um, a little container of M&Ms. She's obsessed. Probably her favorite candy. I got her two cute little jars of Nutella. She loves Nutella. She just loves chocolate. She's a chocolate girly like her mom. I saw this gingerbread cookie from Target and I thought it was just so cute and I had to include it. At Trader Joe's, they have this ginormous chocolate coin and she's really into money lately. And they even had like a small bag full of chocolate coins and she was obsessed with it. She's like, oh, give me money. Do you have money? When I saw this giant dude, I had to pick it up. I know she's gonna go crazy over this one. And for the last, item that's going into her stocking it isn't chocolate but i picked up this little snowman play-doh set thing um last year sir last year we picked up the christmas tree version and they had it this year again but since we picked it up last year i went with the snowman one and she loves play-doh she loves playing with Play-Doh, so this is going to be a fun one for her to receive. I still have all the wrapping to do, but I am excited. I love wrapping gifts. If you have children around the same age as my daughter, I would love to hear what did you guys decide to get your little one for Christmas this year. As of right now, I just want to wish you all a Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and I cannot wait to see you guys real soon. Bye!